for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Kelly Swoop and I'm Jamie Costello. You complained students spoke up and finally fresh air conditioning is coming to Baltimore City Schools. WMER 2 News Nordea Lewis tells us what some students can expect when they return on Monday. Nordea. Well, a lot more students will be walking into buildings with AC, but 14 other schools are still without cooling systems and not a lot of parents are happy about it. Well, my children can't even breathe in the school. It be so hot. One have asthma. Since 2017, city schools have been working on a plan to install cooling systems and heating in all their buildings. As of this month, city schools decreased the number of schools without air conditioning from 75 schools in 2017 to 14 schools. Although it's a great start, some parents aren't too impressed. They say with 14 schools still without air, it causes a health problem for students and staff and a financial problem for parents who have to leave work early to pick up their kids. I have to go to work and um, they call me at work and um, I can't get off because I'm just starting a job. It's unbelievable the things that happen in Baltimore City Schools. But some parents think city schools came a long way and they're happy they're making the progress. Well, I love it. I love it. It shows that they're working on these schools and they're working to keep these children in without them having to get out a half a day. So that's a great success, you know, and I'm quite sure that the other schools will um, eventually get air. But many people question why it's taking so long for students to receive the basic necessities. While city schools sent their AC plan to WMAR2 News, part of it reading, city schools do not have sufficient funds to address these needs or even to perform necessary basic and preventive maintenance with the frequency recommended under industry standards. It is also the case that heating is a bigger concern than air conditioning, with students losing more days of instruction due to lack of adequate reliable heating than to lack of cooling. But all in all, school leaders say they are working to fulfill the needs of students and they plan for all schools to eventually have air and heat. And city schools plan to have AC units in all their buildings by 2023. And you could check out their plan on our website, WMAR2news.com. Live in Baltimore, Nordea Lewis, WMAR2news.